going soon to be a nice new front door. Um, Hello and welcome to another video of renovating a 200 year old house. Uh, and this is just a general update. Um, so if you'd like to keep up the update process of doing the house up, hit that subscribe button. It is free to do so. Um, there's many more videos out there. Hit the subscribe button, press that like button for me as well. That like button um, helps the algorithm. To as you can see in this in this room, we've literally de taken all the wallpaper off the um, that we could off the walls, but we have got a uh, a Titan uh, um, wallpaper stripper. I'm going to crank out um, next week when it's when it's apparently raining next week. So, um, but at the minute I'm just coming while it's nice and sunny outside. I bought I bought um, an extendable um, head trimmer so I can go and do the tops of the conifer. Which I'll show you them in a minute. And there will be a um, we oh I've fallen over. I haven't had a drink yet. So we've obviously we've got a new boiler which I'll show you in a minute. We've had we had a back boiler in before. Now this is the hole in which the back boiler was at. Some of those bricks there are going to come out because in this hole here, oh, we're going to lift, take it up to about. We're going to take it up to just above this line here. Take it all the way out there, and then we're going to put a caligas, which is basically it's basically a caligas fire. It's basically a fire. Don't need a gas feed as the main. We're going to, we're going to put a caligas there. Um, fire in there that has caster so you can roll it out to say outside if you have guests on a barbecue and it gets a bit cold you can roll it out there heat people up and when it's cold roll it back in there and put it in there obviously got the nest which is there we have bt internet because virgin media even though they service my neighbor through that wall they don't service my house which is rather annoying so i've gone from paying 24 pound a month for a um, for 200 meg broadband to 28 pounds a month for 56 or 58 meg broadband, which is lovely. Thanks, Virgin Media. Rabbits are here. There's one there, one in the cage there. And before you say it, yes, it's warm. We do actually have bottles of water that we freeze and we put them in the cage with them so they can keep themselves cool in the day when we're at work. And we close these curtains as well a little bit when we're out at work to keep the place cool for them. I've got to bought this this jigsaw because we basically we bought this um, this oven which we was using and a frame for it. But what was there was um, a bigger a bigger cup which are that big. So I've had to cut this bait this up. I'm using that to cut to cut it down to slide it into that hole there. Also today or this week we've got an extractor fan. We've had an um, electrician put a put a, um, a plug socket up there. So I'm going to cut out all this in there. I'm going to sink this in, sink this into that into the additional air. So all you have to do is, so it's kind of like an enclosed, nice little um, extractor fan within the chimney breast, and it's also it's open there, and it'll go straight up out the chimney. It's great, and it looks good. We've had the boiler put in, a new Baxi boiler. It's amazing. It keeps stuff very hot. Oh, we've, we've got um, a new uh, sink, which is which is like basically the sink is that big, but the sink actually this time is going to be that big, all the way down there. Um, and we're going to get rid of all the countertops and put quartz in, which is basically a cheaper but a better version of granite or granite, depending on where you're from. Um, so I've had that done. Uh, I've got those those ladders out because I've got to get on them so I can um, get the, what's the uh, wood chip wallpaper off the ceilings. Anybody who does renovations and knows they're paying the backside. This room isn't really changed much. Um, we're getting a. a, a um, this this wall's coming out soon um, to have a three meter patio door put in. In in this downstairs loo shower room, we are taking all the things off the wall. The toilet will be going. All that'll be gone. This will be gone. We're getting um, a new a new of all that. We're getting rid of all that. We have to buy all this. This is all tiles and stuff. We're getting rid of all that. We've got a, a new shower for that. So we're gonna put. This is all gonna be. All going to be tiled and plastered and looking lovely. So it's going to look amazing. So you'll see that in a later video. The newish, the new, almost finished bathroom. When I say it's almost finished, it just needs a painting, needs a new floor, um, and that's basically it. And, and, and a mirror. So you saw in the last video, 
that it was basically dire and here's a new one so we have a nice new sink and stuff nice tiles i didn't want them to the top so we're just going to paint that all white i'm going to have a mirror on it a nice mirror with the cupboards in it we have cupboards there we have a nice uh, towel rail there which is which is lovely and tall um, i'm going to fill in these holes and put and paint all that this is fine we've got a nice uh, we're going to replace this side of there we've got a new shower screen new shower which is just really nice lovely yeah this light as i said is going to go in the downstairs dining room which is currently what we're using the lounge for this this carpet is going to come up i think the carpet downstairs is going to go in here because why not these lights are going because they're, they're horrible um not much not much has happened here oh yeah that's where the where we thought that we had a bat boiler they had a system in here and that'll be all plastered up so i've knocked out made the wall bigger the whole bigger service that was this was a big cupboard before and it's now it's clear it's got to get rid of all that these are all staying i'm just going to get rid of that but that going to get rid of this and this which i need to get a new tool for going to get rid of that and that thing there behind the door once it's cleaned it's going to go on to on there like on there it's making a nice countertop oh it's warm out here so I have just recently um, bought this nice thing to, to trim all these hedges up here. All these hedges are going to be knocked back about, about two feet less, so about there, about, so about there I'm going to cut them down to just where the green starts there is going to trim back. It keeps it nice and clear, nice and lovely, it's not that nice. Last weekend I took the, uh, the, the, um, the roof off this off this and re-roofed it as you can see that door's going soon it's going to be a nice new front door um, all the fascias up there the wooden fascias up there and along there are getting gone and, uh, and all the down pipes are getting in place as well so that'll look nice um, that light there and that light there is going to be replaced it's got to buy them um, and then what's going to happen is you can see that new box there that's coming off and then the gas feed from there is being moved over to there and then that is the new box that's going to be there and then what's going to happen is this this window here is going to come out it's going to be bricked whatever all some of these bricks here are going to be put in here so it's half of this is going to be re-bricked up and then it's going to be a three meter this whole three meters which is left is going to be a nice patio so effectively all these bricks are going like a, a big three meter patio with two small windows and two big doors going in so it's like an inside outside so when you you can walk into your house you have parties you can just walk into it it's gonna look amazing i get i'm gonna paint all these uh, fences here this tree we were told it'd be about 800 to a thousand pounds to cut these conifers down hot about to head to a bit about set to about seven feet to get this 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 uh, tree and cut it down to like, to like I don't know, say about there, to cut that all the way down, to cut that bit down, to trim this up and trim all that, it'd be about a thousand pound. I've just bought that thing, as you can see, about 60 quid, and I'm going to trim it all down. I've got a chainsaw off my mum, I'm gonna trim it all and do it all myself. And then all these uh, fences I'm gonna, and the gates, I'm gonna paint them nice and, uh, nice brown so it'll look get into it that is going to be our mantelpiece i think it's going to be the opposite way around because it's a bit rough the rough there the other side is better so probably going to have that as a mantelpiece for our for our like oh, it's going to be amazing if you can do it yourself don't get trades in do it yourself buy the tools because the amount of the money you'll pay for trades you can probably buy buy the tools cheaper which is what i'm trying to say You've got the nest there, the nest at the receiver. I've got to do things as and when. I haven't done much today to be honest because I've been on the phone to Virgin Media. They've wasted two hours of my time, which I could have done half of that already. Like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, it's free. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate the new subscribers that are constantly happening. Watch the videos, support the channel. Um, I, don't do, I, I don't get paid for any of these videos. I don't have enough subscribers or watch time. I do them because I like to do them and help people and show them that you can do things and update. I mean, how many, how many people live in it? Look, 200 plus 
year old house. I mean, it's just crazy. And I'm doing it now, making this house amazing with my wife. Just amazing. So if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Press that um, like button. This channel's about about um, embracing change, make, keeping, making, putting modern into old, but also keeping the history of a house, uh, making it great again, make it livable, you know, making people want to come to your house, want to buy your house, want to look at it and go, wow, this is amazing, and know that you've done it. And this is we're going to be doing this for about a year for all this house because we're living in it and we're working, so it's going to be. Because we're living it, we can live in a, in a basically a little bit of a building site. So thanks again for watching, um, and stay tuned and subscribe for plenty more videos to come. I hope you like them. I enjoy making them. So yeah, thanks again, and see you in a bit. Bye bye.